Hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. How are you, Miguel? I'm fine, teacher. And you? I'm very well. Thank you for asking. Hello, Darwin. Yes. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? It's a good day. Oh, nice. Very good. Hello, Asalia, Ophelia, and Joanna. Good evening. Hello, girls. Hola, chicas. Hello, girls. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Joanna. How are you? I'm fine. Oh, nice. Very good. Thanks. Ready for today? Yeah. Okay. Tengo un montón de trabajo, teacher, pero aquí estoy. Oh, my goodness. Thank you very much. Okay. Hello, Sulma. Hi, good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? I'm good. Oh, nice. Hi, Ophelia. Hello, Ophelia. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Hello, me. Good evening. How are you? I am fine. Thank you. And you? I'm very well. Thank you. Thank you very much for asking. Okay, so we are going to start in two minutes. Okay, so we give time to the others. So we are about to finish module number one, right? Intermediate English. Estamos a punto de terminar. We are about to finish. Yes. Five weeks. Oh my goodness. Five weeks, right? It's been long. This has been longer. It's more longer. Yes, that's right. It's longer. Hello, Jancy. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Going home? Eh, no, todavía no. Pero uh -huh. ando en otras diligencias, pero voy a estar pendiente de la clase. Ah, okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, hello, Susan. Hi, good evening, everybody. Hello, good evening. How are you today? Very good. Oh, nice. Yesterday, I can I can stay in the class because I don't I don't find my glasses. I can see nothing. Yesterday, yeah, I saw the message later. Vi el mensaje, pero hasta después I saw the message later. I'm sorry. Yes, yes. Okay, but today you are you you have your glasses, yes, right? Yes, yes, I found them. Yes. Okay, yes. that's very good. <laughs> Thank you. Good. Okay, no problem. Is the first time I am I am eight o'clock? Excellent. That's very good. <laughs> that should happen every day. <laughs> yes, the next. <laughs> yeah. This this week, these last five days, you have to get connected exactly at eight. Okay. It's a challenge, it's a desafio, it's a challenge. It's a deal, okay. It's a deal, all right, so it's a deal, it's better. Hello, Ada. <laughs> okay. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you doing? Fine, teacher. Oh, and very you? good. I'm okay, thank you. Oh. Okay, so let's begin. So let me pass the attendance. Um, Ada. Present. Adriana. <laughs> Ana Michelle, Darwin, Angela, okay, um, Flor. Gloria? Here. Okay. Joanna? Present teacher. Lourdes? Margarita? Mayra? Miguel? Present teacher. Nelson? 
present teacher. Ofelia. Teacher, voy en camino. Ok, Osmin. Present teacher, present. Ok, Rafael. Present. Ok, thank you. Rosa. Sandra. Jansi. Present. Ok. Zulma. Here. Azalia. Ingrid. En Susana. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, so uh, we are going to start uh, with the class then. And for today, we have the last unit, okay, unit number four. Um, but just before we go to unit number, um, just before we go to unit number four, we are going to, to, to check some things quickly, okay? Or we are going to make a little, a little review. Vamos a hacer un pequeño repaso. We are going to make a little, a little review, okay? And for this, I have a worksheet, okay? I have a worksheet. So in the first uh, part, okay, um, I don't know if you, okay, I don't know if you remember that we studied uh, the superlative, right? Okay, we studied the superlative. Like when you say, for example, the most beautiful, the most intelligent, uh, the happiest, uh, the best, the worst, uh, the longest, the busiest. So that's superlative, right? Yeah. So uh, for example, you can say, I am the busiest person in the company. I am the busiest company in the company. I, I am the busiest person in the company. So that means that nobody is busier than you. Nadie está más ocupado que tú. Okay, nobody is busier than you. So you are the busiest person in the company. So we put EST, ponemos EST. So you can say, for example, um, that movie is the most interesting. That movie is the most interesting. So uh, that means that uh, there's no other interesting movie, all right? For me, that's the most interesting, sorry, movie, okay? No hay ninguna más interesante. It's the most interesting for me, okay? So, uh, and, and I can say, for example, um, this book is the best. This book is the best. So I'm saying that there's no other book like this. No hay otro libro como este. So this book is the best. Estoy resaltando una cualidad. I am highlighting a quality, okay? So this is superlative. In English, you call this superlative degree, okay? So considering that, we are going to do an exercise quickly, okay? So um, I will give you like five or seven minutes, a little bit more maybe, okay? So the idea is that you complete uh, these sentences using the adjective in parentheses, okay? For example, number one. Um, how do you think number one would be? ¿Cómo quedaría el número uno usando el superlativo? Using superlative. Who is? Color. De. Don't Who's forget de. De, de. El de siempre debe ir, recuerden, okay? Tolles, right? So I say the tolles, okay? Who is the tallest person in your family? ¿Quién es la persona más alta en tu familia? Who is the tallest person in your family, okay? Sí, so sí. I, yeah, so I have eight examples, okay? So please try to complete the examples on your notebook, okay? Traten de hacerlo en su cuaderno. Try to do it on your notebook, okay? And then we check together. Solo escriban las respuestas en su cuaderno. This is just to practice, okay? Solo es para practicar. For example, in number one, the answer is the tallest, right? Solo eso escriban en su cuaderno, si quieren. No escriban toda la oración. Okay? Only the answer. Solo la respuesta. Only the answer. So I give you like seven minutes for this. Teacher, excuse me. Yeah. Este, estoy con la cámara apagada porque estoy en el trabajo todavía. It's okay. Thank you for informing. Okay, okay teacher.
Uh, in this case, uh, cook in sentence number two is a synonym to chef, okay? Es un sinónimo de chef, cook, cocinero, cocinera, okay? In this, in this context. Uh, please, when you finish, uh, go to reactions and raise your hand, okay? Cuando terminen, vayan a reacciones y levantan su mano y la dejan levantada. And leave it like that, please, okay? Uh, for the ones who are just getting connected, uh, so the idea in this exercise is to practice using the superlative adjectives, okay? And for this, you need to complete, okay, the sentences using the adjective in parentheses, okay? For example, number one is the tallest, okay? Who is the tallest person in your family, okay? So you can use the most if it's a long adjective, right?
Okay, uh, we are going to check in two minutes, okay? We are going to check in two minutes. I can see Joanna, Miguel, and Rosa have finished, okay? So in two minutes, we check. Awesome. Okay, um, okay, so we're gonna check quickly, all right? So uh, number one is, who is the tallest person in your family, all right? So, and I can see Joanna has finished. Okay, Joanna, can you read number two, please? My mom. Yeah, my mom uh, is uh, five foot four, in the world. So, thank you, Joanna. So the, the answer for number two is the best, okay. right? the best cook in the world. My mom is the best cook in the world. Okay, number three, Miguel. December. December is the coldest month of the year in my country. Good, so the answer for number three is the coldest, okay? El más frío, the coldest uh, month of the year in my Country. Okay, thank you. thank you very much. Susan, do you have number four? Yes, number four. What's the most dangerous animal in the world? Excellent. So, in number four is the most, I don't have a space, but it's the most dangerous animal in the world. Okay, the most dangerous yes. animal in the world. Thank you very much. Uh, number five. Uh, Darwin, do you have number five? Number five, Ethan is the happier boy that I know. Good. So the answer is the, the happiest. All right, like this, right? Lo que decíamos, le quitamos la year, right? And I say the happiest boy that I know. Thank you, Darwin. Ada, do you have number six, Ada? Uh, we are, where are the nieces? bash in the your country okay so the answer for this one is the the nicest all right the, the nicest, nicest beaches uh -huh. in the your nicest. beaches in your country beaches beaches, beaches. in your country yeah beaches in your mm -hmm. country yeah okay thank you very much margarita number seven 
Uh, she bought bigger cake in the shop. Repeat it, please. She bought the biggest cake in the shop. Oh, that's excellent. Okay, so the answer is the, the biggest, all right? Biggest. Like, the, like the restaurant. Okay, thank you, Margarita. So uh, who bought, uh, she bought the biggest cake in the shop. No hay otro más grande, right? It's the biggest cake in the shop, all right? Asalia, number eight. Asalia, hello. Eh, no la logré terminar, teacher. Okay, you didn't finish. Um, who is the famous? Ah, who the is? Famous. Mm. Who is? Who is? The famous. The famous? What about the others? What do you think? Rosa, what do you think? Is it okay? What is the famous? Most. The ah, most the famous. most, that's right. Tiene dos sílabas, he has two syllables, right? The so you say famous. the most, exactly. Who is the most famous singer? Famous. famous singer in your country. Okay, and these are the answers, okay? So, okay, those are the answers. Number one, who is the tallest person in your family? Number two, my mom is the best cook in the world. Number three, December is the coldest month of the year in my country. Four, What's the most dangerous animal in the world? Five, Ethan is the happiest boy that I know. Six, where are the nicest beaches in your country? Seven, she bought the biggest cake in the shop. And finally, number eight, who is the most famous singer in your country? Okay, thank you very much. So the idea of this activity uh, was to practice using the superlative, okay? I know. You studied the superlative, but I could see, I could observe that many of you had difficulty in this topic, okay? That's the reason why I decided to present this exercise for you to practice, okay? Now, do you have any questions about the superlative? Desde ahorita ya no vamos a ver el superlative. So do you have any questions about the superlative? No questions? ¿Por qué no era correcto decir the famous in the last one? Why? Porque tenía más de dos sílabas. Ah, it has two syllables or more, right? It had two syllables. Okay, so you say the most, the most common, for example, the most famous. Yeah, very good. Okay, thank you, Miguel. Thank you. And thank you for your participation. So please, for the participations, let's give them a heart. Demos, demos un corazón a las participaciones. Let's give a heart to participants, okay? Thank you for your participations, okay? Thank you very much. Okay, now, yesterday uh, you studied a reading. You studied an article about surveillance. Do you remember? You studied some information about surveillance. Surveillance, what is surveillance? Vigilancia. Vigilancia, right, surveillance, good. Uh, now, in general, uh, what vocabulary do you remember? What new vocabulary do you remember? ¿Qué nuevo vocabulario recuerdan? What new spooky. vocabulary? Ah, spooky. What spooky. is a spooky, Miguel? Uh, this is a very primera, spooky house. A spooky house. Escalofriante. Escalofriante. Escalofriante, espeluznante, spooky, es right? Good. Yes. What else? Uh, what other vocabulary do you remember? Theft. Sorry? Theft. Ah, theft. 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 What is theft? Um, robo. Urto, urto, robo, oh. and Darwin is like. <laughs> okay, yes, Darwin, you're right. Okay, I understood your body language. <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank you, Lourdes. Uh, what other new vocabulary do you remember? Okay, theft, surveillance, uh, and Miguel said, spooky. Tip. A tip, right? Tip. Is uh, what is tip? Propina. Propina, exactly. Y que, uh, tip, actually, tip is a verb or a noun. También puede ser dar propina. Okay, tip. Tip is dar propina. Okay, tip someone in a restaurant. Okay. Okay, thank you, Sandra. Any other new vocabulary you studied yesterday? Charging. Uh, Asalia first. Asalia. Charging. Can you repeat it? Char charging. 
Ah, charging. 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 Charging is like cobrando, right? Okay, charging, right? We say it's cobrando. Very good. Uh, who else? Who else gave another word? Suspicious. Uh, Ada and then Miguel. Ada? Regarded. Uh, regarded. What is regarded, Ada? Considerado. Considerado. Okay, so this class is regarded, very important for your learning. Okay, regarded. Miguel? Suspicious. Sorry? Suspicious. Suspicious. Ah, suspicious. What is suspicious, Miguel? Suspicious. Yes, yeah, suspicious, right? Suspicious. But listen, it's important. Suspicious is suspicious, but it's an adjective. Okay, para decir sospechoso a una persona, you say suspect. It's different, okay? It's a noun. Suspicious is an adjective, okay? Hey, that's very suspicious. Or he is a suspect for the crime, for example, okay? Suspect, okay? Good. Uh, so do we have more new vocabulary? Knowing. Knowing. What is knowing? Is canalizar. Mm, that was channeling. Channeling was canalizando. Channeling. Mm -hmm. But knowing was sabiendo, okay? Knowing. Sabiendo. Knowing, sabiendo, conociendo, right? Okay, very good. So do we have more new vocabulary? Genetica, genetica. Okay, Darwin and then Rosa. Um, pull it back. Pull back. That's right. What is pull back? Regresar. Sorry? Regresar. Mm -hmm. Regresar. Pull back. Sorry? Retirar, retirarse. Retirarse, retirarse. Okay, retirarse. I would say retirarse is better. Okay. Mm -hmm. Pull back is like uh, retirarse. You can, you can say that. Okay. Or maybe darse de baja en algo. Stop doing something in general. Okay. Dejar de hacer algo. Pull back. All right. Yes. Uh, and the example in the, in the reading was they pull back on some oh, unethical okay. values, unethical uh, situations, right? And practices. Exactly. Okay. Thank you. So do we have more new vocabulary? I said after Darwin, I say Rosa, right? Rosa? Mm -hmm. Prompting. Prompting. Ah, prompting. prompting. What, is prom what is prompting? Provocar. Provocar. Yes, prompt provocar. is provo provocando because it's prompt but prompting. Provo provocar in, in, in what way? Because provoke, it's a, no, it's not. No, it's, no. in this case, prompt is like provocar, but in a positive way, all right? Ah, it's like okay. prompt. Okay. It's like uh, it's like make someone do something, hacer que alguien haga algo, okay? Ah, okay. But positive. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, do we have any other? Reassuring. Okay. Sorry. Unethical. Reassuring. Reassuring. Okay. Reassuring is what is reassuring, Miguel? Tranquilizante. Tranquilizador, tranquiliza, tranquilizador. I would say, okay, uh, reconfortante. Okay. So that is a reassuring situation. Okay. Yes, your words are very reassuring, you can say. Your words are very reassuring. And Asalia, you said unethical, right? Yes. Yes, unethical. What is, what is unethical, Asalia? No ethical. No et yeah, no ethical, right? No yes. Ethical. No ethical. Thank you very much. So do we have more or that's it? No more? No more? No. Okay, this is just to remember, okay, the vocabulary we studied yesterday. So yesterday we learned a lot of new vocabulary, right? A lot of new vocabulary, okay? And we studied something about surveillance, okay? Very good. Now listen, I have uh, here on my PPT, on my presentation, I have two photos, all right? So photo number one, okay, take a look at photo number one. Take a look at the photo. I give you two minutes. And think about what you see. Piensen en lo que ven, en todo lo que ven, in English. For example, you can say, I see a board. I see a teacher, I don't know, all right? So what do you see in the photo? Think for two minutes, piensen dos minutos. What do you see in the picture? What do you see in the picture?
Okay. Tell me, what do you see in the picture? What do you see? A meeting. A meeting? What else? A training. A training, maybe? I think she she did a good presentation. Okay, you think she's doing a good presentation. Okay, that's excellent. Asalia, what do you see? Applause. Ah, applause, that's right. People are clapping their smiles. hands. Sorry? Smiles. Smiles. Smiles, okay, smiles, yes. Blackboard. A black. Um, I would say whiteboard, okay, whiteboard. Because blackboards okay. are the, the, the boards from the past. Aquellas pizarronas de madera, okay? That's a blackboard. Okay. This is a whiteboard, okay? Whiteboard. Laptops. A la ah, you see different laptops, okay? Uh, so for, what about the others? Pens. For ladies. Sorry? Uh, Sorry? For ladies. For? Ladies. For uh, ladies. A ladies. For ladies. Ah, uh, for ladies and three men. All right. Thank you, Asalia. Osmin. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Osmin. What do you see? Hands. Hands. What else? Uh, hair. Hair. All right. It's fine. I I said, what do you see? Right. And that's okay. I mean, what else okay. do you see? She's white shirt. Okay. Uh, shirts. Different shirts. Jackets. All right. Thank you, Osmin. What about Thank the you. others? What do you see? Thank you, Osmin. Sandra, what do you see? Uh, there are persons sit down. Oh, some people are sitting down. Some people are sitting down. Some, pe some people are sitting down. Thank you very much. Okay, what about the others? What do you see? Window. Windows, that's right. That's right, Pony windows. Tail. A ponytail. A ponytail here, yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. How many women how how many uh women uh have a ponytail? Two. Two women have a ponytail, yeah. right? This yeah. one and this one. And this okay, one, yes. yeah. So what else do you see? Uh, a a blackboard mark, no. Whiteboard marker. <laughs> ah, whiteboard markers. Okay, where yeah. are I don't see the whiteboard markers. Where she, are they? Ah, she, she, she's, she, uh -huh, she has. Yeah, one. she's holding. Yes. She's holding yes. one. She's holding. Yes. She's holding one. Very good. Uh, okay, thank you, Rosa. What about the others? What do you see? Glasgow build buildings Sorry? in front. Ah, that's right. Some buildings. There are some buildings in the background. That's right. Okay. What else? Yes, computer. computers, your laptops. Okay, so uh, on the board, what do you see on the board? A graphic. A graph, a graph, exactly. You see a graph. Excellent. Uh, now, a, a question in general. Uh, what do you think this woman is talking about? What do you think she's talking about? She's talking about achieve goals. Exactly. Maybe she's talking about achieving or getting goals. Okay, any other idea? Any other idea? Good news. Good news, right? Yeah, as you can see, the graph is going up. So maybe good news, uh -huh. right? Yes, good news, maybe. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, what do you think? Why do you Let's think? See. Why do you think uh, the attendees are clapping hands? Why are they clapping hands? Why? Maybe the graphic uh, looks like the increase of the sales. They are very happy and they are clapping. <laughs> it's exactly, Maybe. all right. Maybe they are very happy because the sales have increased. Okay. Yeah, Any, yeah. yeah, okay, that's good. Any other idea? Why do you think the people are clapping hands? Only that? Okay, thank you very much. Let's look at another picture, okay? And the same, take two minutes and tell me what, what do you see, all right? So look at the picture. What do you see on the picture? Okay, think, two minutes. Piensa en dos minutos. Think for two minutes and then you tell me.
Okay, uh, so tell me, what do you see? So tell me, what do you see? That's Office. Sorry, Miguel. Coffees. Coffees. Free coffee. Glasses of water. Glasses. Whiteboard. Computers. Plants. 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 Ah, a plant. A plant. People. People. Watch. A watch. A black watch. Water. A conference room. Okay. Meeting conversation. Ah, they are having a conversation. Okay, good. So the men and the pencil. women are having a conversation. A pencil or pen? What else? Interacting attention. Oh, interaction. Very good. What else? The Maybe. people pay attention. Ah, the people are paying attention. They are very concentrated. Okay, what else? One guy has an explanation. One guy is? One guy does an explanation. Ah, uh, one guy... He's explaining something, okay? One guy is explaining something. That what you were saying? Folders. Sorry? Folders, okay? Some folders, okay? How do you call question? Okay, quick question. How do you call this type of folder? Um, In English. In English, how do you call that folder? Yes. portafolio. Yes. In English, you say binder. 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 binder, 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 binder. Portafolio is binder in English. Okay. So what else do you see? What else do you see? Color white. Color white. Okay. Uh, Ingrid first, and then Miguel. Ingrid. Color white. White color. Okay. Good. Okay. White, white color. color. White color. And uh, Miguel. Oh, one iPad. One iPad, exactly. Okay, what else do you see? ¿Qué más miran los demás? What else do you see? Four plates with water. Okay, uh, let me see who is participating. I don't see it here. Sandra, Glasses. Okay. okay, Sandra, what do you see, Sandra? Four plates. Long hair. Long hair. Long hair. Long hair. Okay. Uh, Azalia, you were saying? Uh, four glasses with water. Oh, four glasses with water. Very good, yeah, Asalia. Okay. Rafael, what do you see, Rafael? A beautiful woman. A beautiful woman. All right, good. Three. <laughs> Miguel. Three women. Oh. Ah. Ah, Miguel. I hope you, Miguel, Miguel, I hope you are not close to your wife, okay? <laughs> okay, very good. Rafa, super Rafa. Yeah, that was Rafa. Okay, I hope he is not close to his wife. <laughs> okay, yes? Corbata? Ah, how do you say corbata in English? How do you say? <laughs> Se me ha olvidado, oh, forget. Oh, tie. 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 Glasses. Tie. Tie. Tie, glasses. Glass. Okay, we have glasses. a type of glasses here, okay? We have glasses of water and we have glasses for the men, okay? So glasses what? of water and glasses the men is wearing, okay? So glass is Pencil. bato. Okay, pencil. pencil. Yeah, pencil or pen. I don't know. Yes. Plant lens. Ah, there is a, there is a plant. That's very good. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. Now, a quick question. What do you think? Um, what do you think it's uh the how can I say the profession of the man? What is his profession? Licensial. An, ex an executive. <laughs> an executive. <laughs> Maybe he's an, an executive, executive, an executive, coach. a coach, maybe. Yeah, maybe he's a coach. Okay, very yeah. good. I don't he's remember how to say coach. I think it's like this. I, I don't remember. Very, okay, maybe he's a coach. Maybe he's a bachelor. Or boss. Or boss. Bachelor is licenciado, okay? Maybe he's a bachelor. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else? For boss or manager. Maybe he's the manager or the boss. Now look at the beautiful woman Miguel is, I mean, Rafael is talking about, okay? Beautiful. Rafael, beautiful. Okay? Yes. I mean... Miguel is, be Miguel <laughs> is beautiful, a, a beautiful blouse in the woman. Oh, yeah, it's true. So what do you think the be position, sure. what do you think the position of the woman is in the company? Executive sales. Maybe she's a sales executive, sales executive. 
What else? Maybe the manager. Maybe she's the manager, right? Oh, she is in the, she's sitting at the table. Must so. be the manager. Exactly. Yes. Yes. Because she is uh, the owner down. of the company. And the other is uh, stand up. Oh, yeah. You yeah. are the boss. You, you the are yeah. standing up. You are standing up. Yeah, but she has confidence. Yes, yes. She's, sitting, she's sitting on the desk. She yes, has confidence. She's, maybe maybe she's, she's the owner. <laughs> maybe she's the owner of the company. The or she is your secretary. Or oh, she's the secretary. How do you know that? Okay. Or your manager. We are just predicting, okay? We are just trying to guess. Okay, what about these two people here? What do you think their positions in the company is? Employees. Employees, right? Okay, maybe they are supervisors, okay? Or area area manager. Okay, maybe they are ma managers too, all right? For some areas of the company. Okay, thank you very much for your participations, okay? Um, as always, the idea of these activities is to increase vocabulary, right? To increase vocabulary. And uh, the topic or the unit we have for today is called uh, personal training. Personal training. What is personal training? Personal Any idea? Entrenamiento personal. Entrenamiento de personal. Personal training. Okay. Entrenamiento de personal. So unit number four is personal training. Okay. And I have two questions for this. Question number one is, um, how do you identify or how can you identify the areas of opportunities that require personal training. I mean, the strategies, okay? The strategies that people can use to identify the areas of opportunities, sorry, that require personal training. Maybe you can say, I don't know, okay? Maybe you can say, oh, maybe you can talk to, to the employees to see their needs, okay? Maybe you can talk to the employees to see their needs. Okay, para ver sus necesidades, for training, right, for training. Or maybe you can say, I observe, okay, or people can observe the employee's performance, okay? Performance is rendimiento, okay? The employee's performance to decide on the training, okay? Maybe, I don't know, it's only one idea, okay? Question number two. Are there a lot of training opportunities in your company or in your workplace? You can say, yes, yes there are or no, there aren't. Yes, there are, or no, there aren't. Or you can say um, a little, un poquito, a little bit, okay, a little, okay? Or, or it's better if you say a few, I think. Mejor si decimos a few, okay, pocas, a few. Or many opportunities, you can say, okay? So please, take a moment and answer the questions on your notebooks. Take a moment and answer the questions on your notebooks, please. So question number one is, ¿Cómo identificar las áreas de oportunidades que requieren entrenamiento de personal? Okay, that's question number one. And I said that you can say maybe, uh, you can talk to the employees to see their needs, their training needs, okay? Or you can say maybe um, you can observe uh, the performance of the employees to decide on the best training, okay? These are only ideas, but you can give your own opinion, okay? This is personal.
Okay, are you ready? Najet, Azalia, Darwin, Sandra, are you ready? Najet, ready. Azalia is saying she's ready. Darwin, are you ready? Yes. Sandra, are you ready? Yes. Yes. Okay, that's excellent. Miguel, Pat Patricia, are you yes, ready? Teacher. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. yes, teacher. Susana, Ofelia, Lourdes, Angela. Yes. Yes, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Are you ready? Yeah, max or menos. <laughs> kind of. You can say kind of. 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 Okay, thank you. Kind, kind of. of. Okay. Gloria, yes. Rafael, Rosa, are you ready? Yes. Margarita? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, so uh, we are going to start then. Uh, so these questions are on page number 33, okay? The questions are on page number 33, okay? So the pronunciation, question number one is, how do you identify, 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 all right? How do you identify the areas, the areas of opportunities that require, 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 require personal training. How do you identify the areas of opportunities that require personal training? Question number two. Are there a lot of training opportunities in your workplace? Opportunities, all right? Opportunities. Are there a lot of training opportunities in your workplace? Yeah. Okay, so the questions are on page number 30, 
three, page number 33. So for this activity, we are going to make a bit bigger groups, okay? No grupos un poco grandes. We are going to make a big group. So you listen to different opinions, okay? So the idea is that you listen to different opinions. So please, in the groups, okay, uh, practice mm -hmm. the questions and take turns, okay? For example, uh, Miguel can ask Susana, Susana can ask Ophelia, Ophelia can ask Lourdes, Lourdes can ask Angela, and finally, Angela can ask Miguel, all right? So take turns to, to ask and answer the questions, okay? Good. So we are going to work in groups for this activity, okay? Any question? Okay. Sure. No? Okay, let's go and practice. Oh. I see. Okay. Who we'll start with the question? Me. Me? Because I'm sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Rose. You're I first. Need to wait. I need to wait. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. I, 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 I ask Angela. Do you need me coffee? Yes. I'm going to make me a cup of coffee. Okay, Angela, I'm going to ask you. Okay. How do, how do you identify the areas of opportunities that require personal training? Yes, when new staff arrive, for example, in my workplace. Okay. Are there a lot of training opportunities in your workplace? Yes, there is opportunity in my work workplace there are there are yeah. there are, yes. there are. are there yes are there uh -huh. are there a lot of kind of things yes and you have to say yes there are <laughs> there okay is. okay thank you ask someone Angela um Don Miguel you might okay. How yes, do yes. you how do you, do you identify the areas of the opportunities that require personal training, Don Miguel? Okay, I think can be detected in performance evaluations. Okay. Um, I I repeat this if, if you if you want. Do you, you understand me, the, my answer? Uh, the second. Oh, okay, okay. No, uh, I, I, I ask if you understand my answer. Si le entendimos la su respuesta. Su respuesta. Yes. 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 Okay, okay, thanks. Okay. okay. Next, next, the second question. Uh, thank okay, thank you. Are there a lot of training opportunities in your workplace, Don Mr. Yes. Michael? Yes, in my company, there are budgets for this need. Okay. Uh, repeat. Do you understand me or repeat? Yes, please. Okay. In my company, there are budgets for this need. Budget. What budget. is budget? Budget is, Spanish. para mí, es presupuesto. Ah, ok, ok. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Ok. It's clear. It's, Thank you. Ok. Ok, it's my turn. I ask, uh, who's, what's more? Mm. <laughs> Uh, yes, yeah. uh, 
because of the low performance or due to poor performance. Okay. Are there a lot of training opportunities in your workplace? Um, a little. Okay. Okay. Osmin, you question. Yes. Aquí en la. la... A mí. Ay. Mi, 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 mi. Question. Question for. Sí que nadie quiere. Question for Rosalia. Now. How do you identify the area the opportunity that require a personal training? A recruiting in my company in the customer service area, both yes. personality and by phone. All right, second question. Are there a lot of training opportunities in your workplace? Yes, in there are many. Oh wow. In my in my company is it identifies itself that way, that way for helping in different ways. Uh, for example, there there are professional training workshops with different activities, um, for example, cooking, sewing, is various. Okay. Hello, oh. Hello. Hello, Bernardo. Uh, I have a, a... You have a what? <laughs> you have a what? I have a question. Ah, tell me your questions. How do you say menos peor? Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> menos peor, oh my goodness. <laughs> that, that, does that exist in Spanish? ¿Existe eso en español? Yes or no? So what is the opposite of menos peor? ¿Cuál, es, cuál sería lo contrario de menos peor entonces? Más mejor. Más mejor. Más mejor. No, no, maybe you can say, uh, you only say worse, all right? Worse. Peor. Only, okay? Worse. Only worse. Okay. Only worse, yes. Okay. 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 I like more the Spanish. <laughs> Not worse. I don't. <laughs> Grammar is Spanish grammar is too complicated. Spanish grammar is too complicated. It's a PP language. Yes. It's a pain in the head. It's a pain in the neck. <laughs> okay. Complicated the Spanish or English? Spanish is more complicated. As you can see, uh, for Spanish. Yeah. For Spanish speakers, it's easier to learn English. But for English speakers, it's very difficult for them to learn Spanish. Yeah, so there's a difference. The, maybe the, the, the problem is not pronunciation. The problem is grammar. Grammar is very complicated in Spanish. I mean, we don't feel that because we speak Spanish, right? I mean, we acquired the language. Nosotros adquirimos el idioma. No tuvimos que aprender gramática. But in the case of... Uh, uh, American or foreign speakers, they have to learn the grammar. You see, they aprender la gramática, and it's very difficult. Yes. Okay, so did you finish? Hace cuánto tiempo habla inglés? Let me, let me think. <laughs> let me, let me think. Maybe it's since 2000. Eight from 2008, the mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, actually, actually, maybe from 2007. 14 years? Yes, like for 14 years. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, actually, actually, I learned English in two years. Mm. Yes, <laughs> effort, dedication, <laughs> a lot of, yes, of course, a lot of dedication, a lot of reading, a lot of listening, a lot of music, a lot of, de todo lo que tenía que ver con inglés, okay? a lot of, I mean, a little bit of everything. Esa es la clave, el contacto con el idioma, Aprender mucho vocabulario, exponerse al idioma lo más que uno puede, ¿ok? So, cuando hablaban de, de in my case, right? Cuando hablaban de, de, de algo en inglés, de ir a ayudar en algo, I, I volunteer, I always volunteer. Siempre iba de voluntario, always volunteer, so that's important, yeah. In your case, I know you work, but your dedication, that will be the most important, your dedication, la dedicación, your dedication, yes. O sea, que hablaremos inglés en el 2023. Yes, of course. Si tuviéramos el mismo esfuerzo que él hizo. Porque Ajá. si no, no lo vamos a hablar de la misma manera. Sí, sí, en, re, en, re, en realidad las clases ayudan mucho porque son, todo, son todos los días. You practice a lot. Y, y a ustedes les ayudan más porque las metodologías han cambiado. Cuando yo estudié inglés, las metodologías eran que uno casi no participaba. Y ahora ustedes tienen, practican más que yo prácticamente. Solo les doy la indicación. Entonces, tienen como más oportunidad de aprender más rápido incluso. ¿okay? To learn faster. Pero debe haber dedicación. You need to have dedication. Yeah. Thank you, teacher. Ok, so did you finish? No. Only, no. only. Oh. Only. Only. Yancy, Yancy, ¿cómo se dice falta? Yancy falta. It's missing, it's missing. Ok, it's missing Yancy. Ok, continue. Thank you. Ofelia. I'm more in the evaluation staff in Revis and the areas I does miss I train. Ok. Are there a lot of training opportunities in your workplace? No, I know. No, there aren't, Ophelia. No, no there, aren't. no, there aren't. Okay. Aren't. No, there aren't. They aren't. Yeah. Okay, gracias. So, Rafael. Okay. I hope you, you identify the art of opportunity I that require personal training. A performance evaluation is carried out. Okay. And I there lot of a training opportunity in, in your work person. Yes, there are. There is a designator budget for training. Vale. Hoy a usted le toca esa pregunta. Ingrid, are you ready? Yes. Okay, how do you identify the areas of opportunity that require personal training? When do you see that uh, there is not speed in the, in the, the uh, delivery? Are there a lot of training opportunities in the workplace? A lot, of, no much. Así se puede decir, no much, teacher, no much. A, a little, or you can say a few. A little, a few. un poquito. A few, a, a few. few, pocas, pocas, a few. Not many, Cuando dice no muchas. un poco, no mucho. Not Thank many. You. No Okay, everyone. Okay, everyone. So I, I hope everybody finished uh, practicing their uh, questions. Okay, uh, now let's, we are going to listen to some opinions, okay? But before we listen, let me pass the attendance quickly, okay? So please, when you listen to your name, present here, over here. Ada? Present. Adriana? Ana Michelle? Angela. Present teacher. 
Present teacher. Yeah, okay, yeah, thank okay, you. Okay, okay, okay. Darwin. Present teacher. Flor. Flor. I saw Flor connected. Yes, right, she was connected. Me parece que estaba trabajando con alguien, Flor. Yes. I think so. Okay. Uh, Gloria? Here. Okay, thank you. Lourdes? I'm here, teacher. Okay, Joanna? I'm here, teacher. Tengo la cámara apagada porque mi interés está bien feo, teacher, y se me corta. Okay, okay, it's fine. Margarita, thank you for informing. Present. Mayra? Miguel? Present, teacher. Okay, Nelson? Ofelia? Here, teacher. Osmin? Present. Rafael? Present. Rosa? Present. Ay, donde cayeron, Sandra? Present. Yancy? Present. Zulma? Here. Azalia? Present teacher. Good night. Ay, no, todavía no. Not yet. Ingrid. We are in half of Present the class. Present teacher. Estamos la mitad de la clase ahorita. Well, like 60% of the class has been developed. Okay, Susana? Present. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, Azalia, thank you very much. Okay, uh, Azalia is first. I can see she wants to participate. Okay, Azalia. How do you identify the areas of opportunities that require personal training? Uh, require in the customer service area, but personality in, by phone. By phone, all right, very good. Are there a lot of training opportunities in your workplace? Yes, if there are many. There are many, you can say, there are many. There are many. In my company, it identifies itself that way for helping in mm -hmm. different ways uh, for vocational, um, for example, uh, their vocational professional training workshops with different activities. Uh, for example, cooking, sewing, um, is various. Okay, you have in, different opportunities. In, in, in different, yes. Okay, very good. I like it. I like that company. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, uh, Azalea, can you select a boy to participate, please? A boy. Ah, uh, personal. <laughs> <laughs> You're thinking out loud. Está pensando en voz alta. You're thinking yes, out loud. <laughs> Angie. Ay, no, 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 listen, Azalea. A boy, a boy. Ah, okay. <laughs> Y en este serio, vaya. A mí me en hubiera este elegido serio. si hubiera sido. <laughs> hey, Miguel is laughing now. Miguel was serious, Miguel. but when you're taking este serio, Miguel, Miguel started laughing, okay? <laughs> Miguel is expert. Okay, Miguel is the expert. Okay, Miguel, how do you identify okay. the areas? Thank you, Rosalia. <laughs> how do you identify the areas of opportunities that require personal training? Okay, I think can be detected in performance evaluation. Oh, the, per the people's evaluations uh, need to be considered yes. or regarded. Okay, yes. thank you. That's pretty good. Uh, are there a lot of training opportunities in your workplace? Yes, in my company, there are budgets for this need. Okay, very good. So you have a specific budgets for trainings. Yes. yes. Okay, I like it. Very good. Each, That's each, good. Uh, each area. Each area has a specific each budget. has a budget, yes. Okay, very good. And when, when the budget is over, no more trainings. Yes, no more training. <laughs> okay, exactly. game, game over. Game over. Game over. All right. Very good. Thank you, Miguel. Thank you very much. Miguel, can Thank you select a girl, please? A lady? Ya no puedo hacer a Salia. Okay. 
eh, Susana. Okay. Susan, Thank you, Miguel. How do you identify the areas of opportunities that require personal training? I identify an area needs training because the results and attention to the personal don't be good. Okay, very good because okay because it's not their attention is not good. All right. What? Uh, okay, so are there a lot of training opportunities in your workplace? Yes, we have. In my job, we have a training annual plan that requires each boss. Sometimes the employees make their requirements. Okay, and very good. For example, this class of niche. So the employees like require the training. Yes. Okay, very interesting. Very good. I like it. Okay, let's listen to a last participation. Joanna, select another boy, please, to be fair. A boy. We have Darwin, Enosmin, and Rafael. Okay, only three options because Nelson is busy. So make a decision. Make a decision. Susana, make a decision. We have Darwin, Osmin, and Rafael. Sorry, Osmin. Osmin. All right, let's listen to Osmin. How do you identify the areas of opportunities that require personal training, Osmin? All right. Okay, teacher. Uh, because of the low performance. Oh, because of their low performance. Okay, very yeah. good. Uh, are there a lot of training opportunities in your workplace? A little. A little. Uh, yeah. I think it's better if you say a few. Creo que es mejor si decimos a few, porque es como pocas. Okay, a few. Okay. A few. A few. Uh -huh. okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much, Osmin, and thank you uh, for the others, okay, for their participations. So please, everybody, go to reactions and give participations a wow if you want, okay? Or if you want a heart, or if you want a congratulations, or the emojis you want to give them, okay? So thank you for your uh, participations. Thank you very much, okay? A través de ese emoji veo lo que están atentos, okay? I see the ones who are like paying attention. Okay, thank you very much. Now let's go to the next activity. Uh, in the next activity, we have a conversation, okay? And the conversation is on page number 33, okay? Right. So listen. Uh, read the conversation quickly, two minutes. Read the conversation, two minutes. And after the two minutes, I will ask you questions, okay? So read the conversation. Ready? Yes. Okay, so I have four questions, okay? I have four questions. Please, 
If you have the answer for the questions, go to reactions and raise your hand. No digan la respuesta de una vez, ¿ok? If you have the answer, go to reactions and raise your hand. Si tienen la respuesta, vayan a reacciones y levantan su mano, ¿ok? So the first person to raise the hand will have the opportunity to answer the question, ¿ok? Question number one. Um, how was the performance last month? 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 Okay, let's listen to Rafael. Performance was not so good. Oh, exactly. Okay, the performance was not so good okay el rendimiento no estuvo muy bien the performance was not so good thank you very much rafael uh so uh rick okay rick is planning uh, to train some people right rick is planning to train some people so question number two is how will rick identify the area of training how will rick identify the area of training Okay, um, I don't know if Asalia, do you have the answer? No? Okay, Miguel then. Okay, so Miguel, so how, how will Rick identify the area of training? The servers and the cashiers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but how, como? How will he identify the area of training? It's right, it's for servers and cashiers, but how mm -hmm. will he identify the area of training? It's a, it's a training? Yes. It's a training. Exactly, exactly. But how can he identify that? How? 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 Como? Como lo puede identificar? How can he identify? Okay, let's see Rosa. I, I think... I'm sorry. Uh, okay, uh, so Rosa, do you have the answer? Yes, I think is... identify, okay. identify their skills and knowledge. Exactly, he will identify their skills and knowledge. And knowledge. That's yeah. right, to assign them to cashiers or to servers trainings, right? Yeah. Okay, thank you, Rosa, it's correct. Okay. So the answer is okay. here. By identifying the skills and the knowledge, okay, in the areas. Very good. Uh, question number three. Uh, Rosa, can you lower your hand, please? Can you lower your hand? Okay, thank you. Okay, let's see, uh, next question. Who wants to get promoted? Who wants to be promoted? Who wants to be promoted? Quien quiere ser promovido? Who wants to be promoted? Okay, Asalia, Melanie. The dishwasher. Ah, the new dishwasher. Okay, the new dishwasher wants to be promoted. Okay, very good. Thank you, Asalia. Um, now, next and, and last question. Uh, who wants to schedule a server's training? Who wants to schedule a server's training? Who wants to schedule a server's training? Quien quiere programar? Who wants to schedule a server's training? Rick. Okay, Sandra. Sa okay, Sandra. Rick. Uh, uh, Sandra? Rick. Rick. Okay, Rick is correct. Is Rick. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for your answers, okay? Uh, now, I will pronounce... Uh, the conversation two times. So listen to the pronunciation, please. Listen to the pronunciation. Okay, let me start and pay attention carefully because you will pronounce in a moment. Ustedes lo van a hacer en un momento, okay? The dishwasher I hired a month ago wants to know how to get promoted. He asked me about training opportunities. Ah, very good. You see, I want to schedule a server's training for next month and one for cashiers. Performance this month was not so good. Some customers complained about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think servers need a good training. Let's identify their skills and knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that. And don't forget, we have to evaluate the servers after the training. Listen again, please. 
the dishwasher I hired a month ago wants to know how to get promoted. He asked me about training opportunities. Ah, oh, very good. You see, I want to schedule a server's training for next month and one for cashiers. Performance this month was not so good. Some customers complained about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think servers need a good training. Let's identify their skills and knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that. And don't forget, we have to evaluate the servers after the training. <clears throat> Any word that is difficult for you to pronounce? Palabras que les parezcan difíciles? Words that uh, look difficult for you? Opportunities. Knowledge. Okay, knowledge, maybe opportunities. Knowledge. Right. Let me highlight them. Uh, knowledge. Higher. Um, <clears throat> higher. 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 What else? This washer. This washer. Okay. Uh, this washer. What else? Promo. Promo. This washer. Ah, opportunities. You said right. I uh, promoted. Okay. Promoted. What else? Evaluate. Evaluate. Ah, evaluate. 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 In the, in the present, you say evaluate. Okay. Evaluate. Uh, complain. Okay. Complain. Complain. <coughs> complain. Performance. Performance. Uh, performance. Yeah, performance. Include. Say include. Having. Sorry. Having. 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 Okay, that's easy. Having. Having. Okay. Uh, okay. If you want with the microphone off, con el micrófono apagado, with the micros, with the microphone off. Let's pronounce the words. Pronunciamos las palabras. Let's pronounce the words. Okay, let's start. Empecemos. Dishwasher. 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 Hired. 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 Promoted. 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 Asked. Ask opportunities, 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 performance, performance, complained, complained, complained about, complained about, knowledge, knowledge. Knowledge, include, 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 evaluate, evaluate, evaluate. Okay, so the conversation is on page number 33. Okay, page number 33. So I'm gonna give you a, about four, four or five minutes, okay? In four or five minutes, you will practice the conversation in pairs, okay? In pairs, yeah? So let's go to practice in pairs. No digan que ya terminaron, practiquen, just practice, okay? So we will okay. practice in pairs, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, let's go. Probably I will move some people, okay?
Ok. Eh, you start o me? O me. Ok. The dispatcher I hired a month ago went to know how to get promoted. He asked me about training opportunities. Ah, very cool. You see, I want to schedule a service training for next month and one for cashier. Performance this month was not so good. Uh, some was complaining about having to wait for too long. Yes, I seen service need a good training. Let's let's identify their skill and knowledge so so we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that. And no, don't not forget we have to evaluate the service after the training. Pronunciamos bien, teacher. La verdad. Bueno, pero antes, teacher, yo estaba a cero. <laughs> Do it again, please. I wasn't okay. like I wasn't like really paying attention because I was checking another activity. Okay, so can you please repeat it so I listen to you? Okay. Ah, uh, me start. Sí. The dish, the washer. I hired months ago. Want to know how to get promoted he asked me about training opportunity oh very good you see i went to schedule a service training for next month and one for cashiers performance this month was not so good some customer complained about having to wait for too long Yes, I think servers need a good training. Let's identify their skill, skill and snow, snow, knowledge. 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 knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that. And don't forget we have to evaluate the service after the training. Identify, Angela. Identify, yes. Mm -hmm. Skills Identify. and knowledge. Uh -huh. Skills and knowledge. Skills, Skills and, knowledge. and knowledge. And knowledge. And knowledge. 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 Skills and knowledge. Identify. Knowledge. Identify. I. Identify. Identify. I. Identify. Ah, yeah. yes. Este es como una I latina. Exactly. I. I. Identify. Like, Identify. Uh, no. Identify. Identify. Teacher, en, cuando pronunciamos el I en inglés, en o an? And. ¿Verdad que sí? Yes, and. Es que, es que digamos que and. la primera vez que lo, empe, que lo empecé a pronunciar para mí era en. En. Ajá. I mean, it's like an I and an E, right? It's, it's like a mixture, okay? So the pronunciation is and. E. And. and. And 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 and, and, uh -huh. and. and. it's a long end and and, and and she was and, happy and 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 yeah don't fall asleep Jans no estoy intentando recordar qué significa es knowledge knowledge conocimiento con con Conocimiento. Ajá, es no conocer. No saber, saber conocer. Conocer. Que era como. We have three sabía, words. Ajá, tenemos tres palabras con, con, con no. Con no. No is saber o conocer. Sabe. Knowledge Conocí. is conocimiento. En knowledgeable, Ajá. recuerden que vimos una palabra que era knowledgeable. Yes. Knowledgeable. Knowledgeable. Ajá, knowledgeable, Ajá. que es como conocedor de algo. Okay. Ajá, knowledgeable. Yeah, no no Nos costó pronunciar eso. Yes. Son, se, siempre se derivan de la palabra no, todas. No, no, de conocer. no, no, de conocer. Ajá. Ajá. Yes. no, 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 no,
le preguntaba eso, teacher, del end, porque yo, yo tal vez no decía end, sino que end, end, así como, pero alguien me corrigió y me dijo, no, no es así, es end. Y yo, mm. y yo ahí fue mi confusión y dije yo, mejor voy a preguntar porque... No, pero no es and tampoco, and. And, no, and no. algo así. Entonces yo, yo siempre, lo, eh, es que es como, yo lo había pronunciado así, en no así, en como usted me está diciendo. Eh, lo vamos a buscar ahorita para que lo escuchen. ¿Ok? Ajá. Para que escuchen cómo se pronuncia. So you listen how it is pronounced, ¿ok? Solo, no, voy, no. Aquí, solo voy a activar aquí. Que escuchen ustedes nada más. Let me activate here. Ok. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This was this was Ok, let me, let me know if you listen, please. Déjenme, déjenme saber si, si escuchan. Ok. And. And. Can you listen? Yes. And. 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 Ajá, no, and. Es, no es and. and. No es and. No, ah, es pues and. Ya. And. 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 Uh, and. Uh, and. And. and es que el, el sonido and. se hace en realidad así bajando bastante la, la mandíbula and. 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 and and como de admiración and and uh, and se quedó a decir thing sorry y think 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 no. think think de final think. Ah. Sorry. Que en las películas he visto que cuando es el final. El fin. End. End. Ah, end. 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 Eso sí es end. 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 La E es corta. End. The end. end. The end. Pero se escribe lo mismo, ¿cierto? No, no. Esa no. es con E. Pones con end. A y otra con E. Ajá. Ah. Eso sería yeah. end, the end. Y el, como the casi end. no veo películas. End. End. The end. Y la otra <risa> es end. End. Es, una, es más and. larga. End. 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 Yes. Vaya, teacher, thank you. La próxima vez yo voy a corregir porque a mí me corrigieron y yo decía, no lo pronunciaba así como usted va, pero sabía que era así con ese sonido. Ya, ya, yeah. mm -hmm. yeah, correcto. Mm -hmm. Ok, Entonces continue. ahí dije yo, bueno, thank you. Ok, no problem. <risa> eh, yes. Yes, I think servers need a good training. Let's identify their skill and it's not the length, so we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that. And don't forget, we have to evaluate the servers after the training. Okay. The discussion I hired a month ago wants to know how to get promoted. He asked me about training opportunities. Ah, very good. You see, I want to schedule a service training for next month and one full cashier. Performance this month was not so good. Some customers complained about having to wait for too long. Yes, I seen servers need a good training. Let's identify their skill and snowballs so we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that. And don't forget, we have to evaluate the server after the training. Complained about, complained about, complained about. <laughs>
Okay, everybody. Okay, uh, thank you very much. I gave you more time because some people were, were discussing something that was very interesting, okay? So uh, thank you very much for uh, practicing. So we are going to listen to three pairs, okay? We are going to listen to three or four pairs approximately, okay? So um, let's see, uh, we are going to listen to Lourdes. Lourdes, who is your partner for this activity? Okay, Ada or Asalia. Okay, so decide please. Do you want Ada or Asalia to do it with you? Melanie. Melanie, all right, so do it with Melanie then. Okay, thank you, Melanie. Uh, can you share your screen, teacher, please? Yeah, sure. Let me share for you. Thank you. Okay, no, no, no problem. Okay. Oh my goodness. Hold on a second. Okay, here. Okay, I start. Um, the dishwasher I hired a month ago wants to know how to get promoted. He asked me about training opportunities. Ah, very good. You see, I want to schedule a server training for next month and one for cashiers. Performance this month was not so good. Some customer complained about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think servers need a good training. Let's identify their skills and knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that. I don't forget we have to evaluate the servers after the training. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Melanie and Lourdes. Thank you. Okay, Ingrid, who is your pair, Ingrid? Yo estaba con Nelson, teacher, pero nunca me contestó. Oh my goodness. Estoy practicando yo sola. <laughs> yes, okay, so you uh, choose a classmate to do it, please. Elige a alguien que lo haga contigo. Choose someone to do it with you. Okay. Angie. Angie. Okay, Angie, okay. <laughs> He selected for you. <laughs> okay, let's. <laughs> okay, Ingrid. Okay, Ingrid, you can do it with Angela, okay? She's very okay. requested today, okay? So do it with Angela, please, okay? So uh, Ingrid, you are Alex, and Angela, you are Rick. Okay. 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 Uh, the dishwasher I hired a month ago once uh, to know how to, to get uh, promoted. He asked me about the training opportunity. Ah, very good. You see, I want to schedule a service training for next month and one for cashier. Performance this month was, done, was not so good. Some customer complaining about having to wait for too long. Yes, I didn't service and need a good training. Let's identify uh, there is a skill is knowledge. Uh, so we can so we can so so we can include everything they need and the training. Let's do that. And don't forget we have to evaluate the service after the training. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Ingrid thank and Angela. Very good. Uh, Sulma, are you participating in this one? Yes, I'm here. Okay, who is your partner? Uh, Miguel. Okay, so please, we listen to you. Your first, Sulma. Okay. Um, the dishwasher I hired a month ago wants to know how to get promoted. He asked me about training opportunities. Ah, very good. You see, I want to schedule a server training for the next month and one for cashier. Performing this month, what not to do? Some customers complaining about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think server need a good training. 
let's identify their skill and knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that. And don't forget, we have to evaluate the server after the training. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Now, please, everyone go to reactions and let's give these brave people a heart, okay? Let's give these brave and participative people a heart, okay? Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Uh, and let's go to, uh, to some questions, okay? And then we do the last activity, okay, for today. It's almost time. Ya solo faltan 13 minutos. We only have 13 minutes, okay? So, uh, so I ask you some of these questions, okay? But the idea is to, to, to answer the questions, yeah? Okay, uh, so we have four questions here. And I ask you some of these questions already. Ya les hice alguna de estas preguntas, okay? So the questions are about the conversation. Question number one is about the conversation. Who is asking for a promotion? Do you remember? The dishwasher. The new dishwasher, excellent. Uh, what did the customers complain about? De que se quejaron? What did the customers complain about? The servers. The servers, yeah. Um, taking too, for too long. Ah, time. exactly. The so servers, the, the servers were taking too long. Okay, too, too long, long too long, too long. Only too long, it's oh, okay. Too long. Okay. Too long, yeah, too long. Too long is demasiado tiempo. This is an expression in English. Uh, they were taking too long, okay, demasiado tiempo, all right? It's okay, you don't have to say time, Rosa, in everybody, okay? Uh, next question, uh, what staff or employees will receive the training? The server and the cashiers. Exactly, the servers and the cashiers or cashiers? Cashiers. Ah, cashiers, exactly. The servers and the cashiers. Good. And the last one, what steps will Alex and Rick take for the training? We answered this question too. Evaluate the servers. No. To evaluate the servers? Okay, that's one. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah they will evaluate the servers. And what other steps? The skills and the, and the knowledge. Ah, exactly. The skills and the knowledge. knowledge. And the knowledge is correct. Okay, uh, last activity for today. Ultima actividad para hoy, last activity for today. So listen, here uh, we have um, some steps for a training, okay? We have some steps for a training. So the idea is that you organize this training for your staff, okay? And you are going to put the steps in the correct order. What do you think it's step number one, step number two, three, four, five, and six? So you need to put them in order. How do you organize training for your staff, okay? And you decide, and you put them in order. Any question? No? No? So you will work with the same pair for this, okay? Van a trabajar con la misma pareja. You will work with the same pair. I will give you five minutes for this, okay? Five minutes for this. Only sure. organize the steps, okay? Yeah, any question? Yeah. Oh. It's on page 33. It's on page 33. It's on page 33. Okay. But let me display it for you. Page number 33, activity four. Page number 33, activity four. Thank you. Okay. No problem. Okay. So please let's organize the steps and let's work in pairs. Okay. Go with the same pair. Vamos con la misma pareja. A Ingrid la voy a mover para que no se quede sola, okay? I will move Ingrid for not being alone. Se le va a decir, teacher. <laughs> yes, I will move you. Don't worry. Okay. Con quien, teacher? Hold on, hold on. Voy a ver cuál queda con menos. I will see which group has less people. Just give me a moment. Teacher, no encuentro dónde irme. Quiero ver. Me mandó invitación. Sí. Um, ok, ahorita, ¿con quién estabas, Gurde? Con Azalia y con Ada. El MC, déjame ver en dónde está ese grupo. Ah, ok, group number one. Let me send you the invitation again. Okay. 
Okay. Now, did you okay, receive it? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, Ingrid. Yes, teacher. Te enviaré con con Angela y Ansi, okay? Okay. Number seven. ¿Cuál es el cuatro? Bueno, one, number two, identify. Analyze the job in identify personal. Ajá, number three. Fine. The seed okay. is killed and slowly, and slowly cut. The seed is killed. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Gaps, ¿qué es? What is the meaning? Gap. Conocimientos. Es evaluar el trabajo después de. Ok. Eh, no, porque también tercera. podría ser este identificar identify soluciones de trabajo. forma. O sea, identify training solution. Pero no. No, no, no. Sería design. Design. Uh -huh. Vaya, después podría, eh, later can be implementing training. Gaps son vacíos, ok? Gaps. Gaps. Ah, son vacíos, sí. Ajá, vacíos en las eh, habilidades y conocimiento, ok? Mm, okay. Mm, vacíos. Vacíos, okay. yes. Lo necesitábamos, okay, teacher. Ok, thank you. I'm here listening to you. Hey, teacher. Is that a scale? Is okay. Number three. Number three. Uh, no, Design is skill and is knowledge gap. Yes. Is number four. Is number, number four. Three. Identify training solution. Mm -hmm. Sí, primero se podían identificar las soluciones del entrenamiento uh -huh. y si es Luego, aceptable, se implementa. Implement. Y yes. number five, implement training. Uh -huh. And number six, evaluate, evaluate. performance after, after training. After training. Uh -huh. Después del entrenamiento. Uh -huh. Finish, teacher. Tres son multitud. Veo que ya se quieren ir a dormir. Yes, teacher. Ya yeah, oh. finish, teacher. Three minutes. Ahora lo voy a recompensar. Lo voy a dejar ir a las diez y uno. Yeah. Oh, teacher. No, teacher. Miss <laughs> value. Okay, let me visit another group. Yes. Number six, implement, implement training. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Now read, read you the. Did you? Okay. The analysis with you. Analyze. 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 Analyze the job. The job. Analyze the job. Analyze the job. Yeah. Analyze. 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 Okay. Analyze. Okay. Identify personal, current, skill, and knowledge. Yes. Three. Identify training solution. Four. Besides knowledge gap. Gaps. Gaps. No? Gap. Gaps. Okay. Five. Evaluate performance after training. Mm -hmm. Six. Identify training solution. No, perdón. No, no, six. <laughs> yes. Implement, Implement training. Yes. <laughs> you, you made it up. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> no, thank you. Okay. Another word, Cosme, difficult to pronounce for you. Eh, eh, la misma. Eh, knowledge. Knowledge. Knowledge <laughs> are uh, uh, two knowledge. Exactly. Um, knowledge. Y then, no está bien. Es, es more difficult for me. Knowledge. Okay. Knowledge. But you, you pronounce good on knowledge. Sometimes you forget about it. Okay. Okay. Bueno. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, everyone. Okay, uh, so let me share and you compare. Okay, let me share and you compare afterwards. Okay. Uh, let me show you how I have the answers, okay? Let me show you how I, I have the, the answers. For example, for, for this one, okay, let me get the pen. Uh, here, I have number one, all right? Here, I have number three, okay? So check, please. Ahí revisan, you check, please. Here, I have number five, number two, number six, okay? Number two, number six, and the last one is number four. Oh. Four. Do you have it the same? Lo tiene lo mismo? Do you have it the same? Yes. Yes. Okay, that's excellent. Uh, maybe some vocabulary, okay? Uh, gaps. Okay, gaps is vacillos, okay? Devices, skills, and knowledge, gaps, vacillos, right? Okay? And basically, yeah, gaps. Okay, gaps. And uh, I think the other vocabulary is easy, right? Creo que con el demás vocabulario sí todos están familiarizados, ¿ok? I think. Yeah. Ok, thank you. Yeah, Let me pass the attendance the last time and then we go. Para las sesiones uno a uno, hoy empezamos siempre con la persona que empezó el primer día, que inició el primer día, ¿ok? Con la persona que inició el primer día regresamos, así que ahora le corresponde a Ada otra vez. Mi teacher, mi teacher. Yeah. Yes. Vaya Salia, usted. No yeah. puede, el teacher. Estoy enojado, teacher. No, pero si Ada, okay. si, si Ada te quiere dar la oportunidad, no hay ningún problema. There's no problem. Sí, no es, problem. Es, no, no. No, no problem. Sí, yes. Good night, teacher. Good night. <laughs> Son las 10 con 1. <laughs> <laughs> ok. Ada, Patricia. Entonces, hasta se queda, ahí se queda, Salia. Nada, oh, yes. okay. hasta, la, yes, hasta, la, hasta las 11. Ada. <laughs> Ada? Bueno, sí, presentice. Adriana? Ana Michelle? Ángela? Presentice. Darwin? Darwin? Present Flor? Gloria? Mm -hmm. Gloria? Yes. Yes. Ok. Joana? Lourdes? Margarita Present. 
Mayra. Miguel. Present teacher. Nelson. Ophelia. Here teacher. Osmin. Present teacher. Good night. Here Rafael. Present teacher. Rosa. Present. Sandra. Teacher. Jansi. Present. Tulma. Here. Azalia. Present. Good night. Good night, Ingrid. Present, teacher. And Susana. Present. Okay, Present. everybody. Okay, thank you very much for connecting today. See you tomorrow and good, good night. night. Good night, good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night, everyone. Tomorrow, no. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. <laughs> See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Class tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs>Y entiendo que requiere de mucha dedicación, así como lo que está haciendo, practicar muchísimo, practicar las estructuras, eh, mucha dedicación y mucha, ¿cómo le puedo decir? Exponerse mucho al idioma. Es uh -huh. decir, a través de música, a través de películas, de videos, lo que me gusta de leer cosas en inglés. Se trata de exponerse tanto como puedo al idioma. Uh -huh. Y eso va ayudando muchísimo porque... Tal vez no estudiar directamente, ir a estudiar el presente simple o el verbo to be, sino estudiar una lectura y que aparezca el verbo to be y que aparezca la, la estructura en general, que estructuras de los diferentes eh, temas gramaticales en contexto real. A eso uh -huh. ayuda muchísimo porque se le van quedando a uno las estructuras indirectamente. Uh -huh. Sí, porque yo lo que, lo que he hecho últimamente, ¿verdad? Sí, lo que hago últimamente es que me pongo... 
a pensar eh, ya una, una frase mucho más larga, ¿verdad? En, en inglés. Y luego después estoy acordándome, la escribo y voy y, 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 y empiezo a escribirla, digamos, en la computadora, el traductor, para ver si lo, como yo lo pronuncié o lo pensé en ese momento, me salían. Y, por, como le digo, yo lo intento, la cosa es en la noche, en que ya empieza, ya, este, ya cuando ya me preguntan y ya me quedo yo, ¿cómo, cómo digo alguna frase, verdad? Eso es lo que me, 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 me está costando bastante. No, pero el, el hecho de que usted esté practicando más o menos lo que usted puede responder cuando le, están, le van a preguntar algo los compañeros o mi persona, eso es un avance porque a veces tal vez no se recuerde en el momento, pero como eso, el idioma es como como una esponja absorbiendo agua. Uh -huh. Es decir, que yo le voy metiendo y le voy metiendo, al cerebro le voy metiendo y le voy metiendo, pero en su momento tiene que producir. Eso se uh -huh. llama output en inglés. Entonces, en su momento algo tengo que producir. O sea, aunque no lo haga tal vez en el momento que yo quería, pero si yo internalicé esa frase o esa estructura, en su momento voy a tener que producir algo con esa frase. La idea es como ir, como ir guardando tanta información en inglés como sea posible. Sí, la verdad es que eh, créame que sí me ha servido porque en un principio yo nada, yo quería pensar por decirle algo en inglés y, y ok, y nada. Pero hoy digamos que ya sí, yo ya puedo, este, me pongo en el día, como le digo, eh, estoy, eh, voy a, para un lado y digo, ah, tal cosa en inglés y como lo que voy viendo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y conforme a eso pero sí está costando un poco y como le digo, pero me, se me está facilitando ya más cada vez en la noche. O sea, ¿verdad? Poco a poco. Eso sí poco lo he poco. observado. ¿No? Es un proceso, es poco a poco, no es de una vez. Algunos que se precipitan a veces, pero la idea es en el idioma no, precip no precipitarse, porque es un yo proceso. Que, sí, yo sé que ya vamos a un módulo mucho más avanzado, yo lo sé, y que no sé, yo siento yo en algún momento que me estoy quedando atrás. ¿Verdad? De acuerdo al módulo en el que estamos. Uh -huh. eh, y eso es lo que hasta cierto punto me preocupa, porque pues sí, o sea, cada vez siento que algunos compañeros van un po po poco más adelantados y eso es lo que también hace que... Sí, no, no, pero no es de hacer comparaciones, porque algunos van más adelantados no porque tal vez avanzaron bastante, sino que porque ya tenían también como un, un aprendizaje previo del idioma. Yo sé que uh -huh. algunos que están, yo como Rosa, por ejemplo... Está Joana, está Miguel, hay varios. Yo sé que ellos ya tenían un, un aprendizaje previo. Ya estuvieron en un proceso de alguna manera, quizás largo hasta cierto punto, en el idioma. Así que por eso es que ellos producen un poquito más que los demás. Es bueno compararse, sí. pero para hacer una comparación positiva, como para desafiarme, que quiero llegar hacia donde están ellos, pero no para que se le baje la, la moral. No. La moral. Ajá, sí, correctamente. sí, lo que pasa es que en el momento, eso es lo que, ese es otro de los problemas que quizás, yo no le digo que yo lo tengo, lo que pasa es que siento que por ratitos, este, cuando lo, nos ponen, eh, con, en este caso ya con esos nombres, este, que ellos pueden más, se pues está dando el, el fenómeno de que ellos ya ni quieren trabajar porque nos dejan a nosotros así, ¿verdad? De que, ajá, y entonces... ¿verdad? Entonces, este, ahí es a donde yo me quedo, puchica, es un, es somos todos, no solo somos unos ni otros, ¿verdad? Sí, yo creo que hasta pero, cierto pero punto, no, yo siento... hasta Ajá. cierto punto, sí, yo lo he visto, yo, hasta cierto punto, yo creo que no hay una mala intención en ello, yo creo que hasta cierto punto como que los quieren desafiar, eso es lo que yo he notado en algunos, como que los quieren desafiar para que, para que digan algo en inglés, entonces, y hasta cierto punto eso no es malo, porque si lo desafía, a uno cuando lo desafían, uno tiende a, a sentir un poquito más de, 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 de gana, ¿verdad? Y a decir, no, pero de yo puedo, yo puedo, así que puedo intentarlo. Sí, en este caso yo, yo este, creo que eso ha sido parte de que me he puesto, pero como le digo, estoy años luz, siento yo, ¿verdad? De, de esa situación, pero ahí lo vamos haciendo de a poquito. Sí, poco a poco. ¿verdad? Es un proceso, es un proceso, Ada, y aquí no hay que, no hay que precipitarse mucho. ¿Cuánto tienen ustedes en este proceso? Prácticamente tienen que, estamos hablando de siete módulos, ¿verdad? Sí, seis en este caso. Este, Ajá, son y, seis. Y, siete con y, este sería. En, en mi caso, de cero. O sea, de cero total. Entonces hay un aprendizaje. Hay un aprendizaje y mucho. O sea, a mí me sorprende mucho desde que yo estuve con ustedes. Hay muchos que me sorprenden. 
que yo les he ido viendo la mejora. Hay como cuatro o cinco. Yo sé que hay algunos que no están muy interesados y que no están muy aplicados en el idioma. O sea, yo lo estoy observando. Y cuando digo así, este, que hay unos que, que yo sé que desde, desde que yo empecé con ustedes en el módulo 4, me parece, o módulo 5, no recuerdo, yo veía una deficiencia en el idioma, pero vi, veo que han ido mejorando poco a poco. Y entre esos nombres puedo mencionarla a usted, a Ángela, a Osmín, o sea, que yo le veía a Salia, que yo le veía mucho problema, y, pero yo veo que ustedes van mejorando poco a poco, pero veo algunos que no dirán nombres, que no van mejorando porque no se están aplicando como deben, pero en algunos sí, como uh -huh. ustedes, yo veo la mejora, o sea, yo veo, yo, yo hago el, la medición desde que, los, desde que inicié con ustedes y cómo están ahorita, y sí veo que hay un, que, o sea, que hay un avance en el idioma. Un avance. Correctamente. Eso, y, sí, le digo, o sea, yo estoy haciendo todo lo humanamente posible, ¿verdad? Porque sí, créame que se me ha, se me ha dificultado nunca. Nunca me gustó el idioma inglés y que imagínense lo que estoy en este momento, ¿verdad? Es un desafío. Y como le digo, sí, este, yo empecé de cero con, eh, con estos módulos y a estas alturas, como para que yo ya piense en inglés algunas frases, es porque ya. Hay un gran ya avance. Estoy avanzando. Hay un gran avance, ¿verdad? correctamente. Así que no se me desanime. ¿verdad? Ok, y si se compara bueno. con alguien que sea algo positivo, o sea, que sea para desafiarme, que yo puedo llegar hasta ahí también, ¿ok? Ok, okay, okay. Teacher, muchas gracias, oye. Ok, no hay problema. Bueno, pues ahí nos vemos mañana. Bueno, primero Dios. Bye. Le agradezco mucho Tomorrow. su consejo. Oye, ok, no problem. Good night.